Welcome back to Meticulous Mechanic. In the last video, we removed the cam chain tensioner. You can see that the cam chain is now loose. What's interesting is the dot and the mark are still lined up on the intake side. But on the exhaust, you can see the dot has moved slightly to the right from there to there. In the last video, I had rigged up this system so that the crank bolt wouldn't turn on me. So I'm going to take these zip ties off and see if it worked. Going to re remove this temporary screw and look in this hole and see if it's still at 125 degrees before top dead center. That's good. It's exactly where I left it. So once the cam chain tensioner is removed, you can see a lot of slop in this chain. If you watched the previous video I made, I call it a reality check before I remove the cam chain tensioner. And you can see that over here that this bolt here and this bolt, they were level. Now you can see that this bolt is up higher and this one's down lower. So that means this shaft has rotated clockwise. And you can see that from the previous shot in this video where I showed you the dot wasn't lined up anymore. So on the exhaust cam, one of the valves is pushing up on one of the cam lobes and causing it to rotate it like that. When you look at this exhaust side, these, this hole and this hole were basically level here. And I'm looking way in where you, you can't see with the camera, but the dot and the line back here, this one rotated just fairly, fairly slightly counterclockwise, not as bad as the exhaust. So if you pull this chain off, so you bring it up over the exhaust cam and up over here, Let me just pause it so I don't drop it. So it would be nice if the, the dot and the lines had become mismatched because then I could just lay this chain on there perfectly. But if you watch, you try to fit it over here onto this. It doesn't want to fit on the teeth because it's rotated slightly. So I'm pulling all the tension to the left like this and it fits on there, but and it's fitting on the teeth, but that's because I don't have all the tension out on the part running down here. So I actually have to back it off one. Well, it's already backed off one tooth, but I need to get it to go over. So long story short, it's going to make it way more difficult to get this back together once I get these out of here. I've been reading a lot of forums, and the worst answer is the guy says... I just messed with it and other people talk about zip ties and tighten the cam caps down gradually and I'm going to be thinking about this. I thought about it all last night. There's got to be an easier way. So for now I'm going to put one zip tie up here and I'm going to take the cam chain off here and tie it up before it falls in. So I reset up my safety system to make sure the crank doesn't turn. And on the next video, we're going to try to get those cam caps off.